Hello boys and girls, it's James from AppSpy here and I'm playing Ninja Up, where I'm taking control of a ninja and making him go up. So as you can see, I'm drawing little ropes on the screen by swiping with my finger. Oh dear, smash and dead. Uh, these ropes act as elastic band type propulsion systems, which fling him into the air. The bigger the band, or the bigger the rope rather, the lower he jumps. So if you see what I mean, it's not got much elasticity in it. Whereas if I make it really short, pew, he'll zoom off at a real high speed and I'll gain more height. However, ah crap. The problem is, the higher you get, more people start appearing. You get girders, which potentially smash you in the face. You've got these weird propeller-driven dudes who, I don't know how they work exactly, but they're there. And you need to avoid hitting them, ah, nuts, in order to keep going upwards. Otherwise, you'll smash into their helicopter heads and get chopped into little ninja bits, which nobody really wants. Uh, it's a free-to-play game. It's out right now from Gameloft. Ugh, don't be a fool. I'm trying to be smart and draw little ones, but... If you make it small, it's a much smaller target, and I'm finding it quite difficult to predict exactly how this guy's going to fall. Sometimes he takes a little while to start falling at a kind of reasonable speed like that, and then sometimes he seems to just plummet. Ugh, oh, couldn't get around him. At a really high speed, and it catches you out, and you don't draw the line quick enough. Um, it's a free-to-play ad-supported game. As you can see, there's an ad at the top of the screen. I don't think there are any in-app purchases. I think this is literally it. This is a Twitch-style game uh, in the mode of all those... Uh, that was one we did a couple of weeks back, um, which... Super Pixlander, that was it. That's kind of the same deal. Oh, how... See, he wasn't on screen when I drew the line, when I drew the NASA band. How could I have predicted he was going to be there? I'm a little suspicious. I quite like the presentation. It's neat enough. The little character's like upbeat and looks cool and is making the appropriate ninja noises of wah, 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 wah. Ah, I thought I had the right angle there. That's the thing you've got to consider as well as the length of the line you also have to consider the angle. See if I draw it sideways diagonally like that. A, I miss. Uh, and B, he flings off in the other direction. So you can control, I'm crying out loud, you can control his direction as well as his height. So plenty to look after. Plenty to keep you occupied. Um, yeah, presentations, oh for goodness sake, is alright. It's quite, like I say, unless you get the timing exactly right, uh, I'm playing it really badly now, uh, then you do run into problems. And you can just draw those big lines to keep yourself covered. That's about the biggest you can draw. You can't get any, any longer than that. But it will take him ages to ascend if you do that. Whereas, ah, oh, smash. If you draw a very, very small line, you're running the risk he's going to miss it. But you're also, boom, getting that real rocket launch when he takes off. Now you see how high, how long he kind of hangs in the air. And then that time he fell really quickly. Whereas previously he'd fall quite slowly. So it, it I find it quite tough sometimes to judge. Oh, there's the girder at the top and I missed it. It's pretty cruel. As well as things appearing in your eye line at the very last minute. Not giving you much of a chance to draw the right line. Stuff will sometimes appear directly above where the screen shows you, what the screen shows you rather, when you have literally no chance of avoiding it, which I think is a bit cheap. But whatever, I've avoided that guy. Ah, see, look like that. He was not in screen when I drew that line. How on earth am I supposed to know that he was going to be there? There's no way at all. I call shenanigans. Although, I would say that it's making things deliberately difficult to make you buy and app purchases. I don't think there are any. I think it is just a twitchy challenge of skill and dexterity, neither of which, apparently, I possess. Uh, see, I can avoid him, because I saw him. I can avoid him. I can avoid him. Oh, see, look, him. How did I know? He wasn't there. I... That, that's outrageous. Uh, so this is available right now. It's called Ninja Up, and you can download it for iPhone and iPad for free. Fill your boots. Thanks for watching. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.